I had one of the most incredible conversations yesterday with author Jenny Boyd. Her sister went on to marry George Harrison and then Eric Clapton. But the thing about Jenny is that she took something that she knew she wanted to do, which was part of her psychology studies, and she wanted to tap into the energy of creativity. One of the quotes that she shared with me during this conversation, a lot of people will brag about how talented they are. Ooh, you're, you've got the gift. You, you've got all it's going to take. Well, that's only step one. To admit that you've got talent or somebody recognizes your talent. But she says that the real, the real story and the real journey is when you admit that you are creative. Because creativity comes from the universe. Talent is something you develop. But the creativity comes from the universe. By the way, the name of Jenny's book, it's Icons of Rock in their own words, she's re-released it and she's put a lot of new things in there, especially her dedication to Christine McVie of Fleetwood Mac. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. Today, we're reading from February 16th, 2024. Oh, that human imagination. A man told me last night that he doesn't read books, but he loves to listen to authors talk about how they brought their stories to life. There's something about physical conversation that invites a connection. The experts say it's because listening gives us freedom. We consume audio while cooking, while driving, cleaning the house, or working out. If we read, well, there we are. We're trapped inside some sort of position and place. See, I'm the guy who doesn't like texting. I don't even like to read a text message. I'm not alone. Sharing a conversation is clear and direct. Writing something out doesn't truly put out there the full picture, but rather the reader gets an interpretation. The best way to communicate is always going to be face to face, body language and reaction. It invites an amazing connection. The human imagination digs that kind of stuff. I honestly can't help but wonder where we would be right now in history if we wouldn't have had Zoom during the COVID-19 lockdown. There was never a day that I wasn't tapping in to another person's conversation because I could see them. I needed to be with people. So much so that I told my wife, I've got to go get a job. Well, where are you going to work at? The movie promotions company is gone. The DJ service is gone. Everything is locked down. Where are you going to get a job? I just need to be with people because it's just not fair to my creative mind. This is the conversation. It's well documented in my daily writing. So then she said, well, the only place that's open is a Home Depot or a grocery store. If you really want to brave the odds during this COVID-19 lockdown, go get a job there. So I did. I didn't want to be hired Because I was scared. I was horrified that, what am I doing, signing my own death contract? But I needed face-to-face time with real people. They hired me. Was I happy? Not really, because I'm a radio guy. Radio guys like to hide in studios. We imagine people being there. There at the grocery store, you you were there. You're like right there in front of me. And you have stories. You've got reactions. You love to laugh. You love to tell me about your dogs and your kids and how how tough it is to go to work. I love that connection. But try putting that in a text message. I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.